We are gathered here today to celebrate the relationship of Megan and Clayton. Megan and Clayton wanted me to thank you all for being here and to recognize how important each and every one of you are to their relationship. With that being said, who gives their blessing of this union? I do. Clayton's always been just a buddy for me. Um, even if he didn't like something, he was down to try it. Um, I'm a real big sports guy, and when I first met him, he couldn't tell you what a football was. Um, but by the end of it, just because I liked it and he wanted to hang out, he was always there to help me, and he'd do that for anybody. As you know, I was not the little girl that sat around dreaming about her wedding day. Growing up, I said I would never get married. I didn't want to because I didn't think that I needed to get married. I figured I can take care of myself, so what on earth would I need a husband for? Yet yeah, here we are. Dearest Megan, I want to take you to be my wife. I promise to always be your biggest fan and partner in crime. I promise to create and support a family with you in a household filled with laughter, patience, understanding, and love. He's always looked out for you. Even when he wasn't around, he was always caring about you. And it's just awesome you guys are together. I feel complete with you in my life. I'm here because I love you, and because of that love, I want to make the strongest level of commitment to you. I want all of my journeys and adventures to be by your side. I vow not to grow older together, but to grow together. I will love you faithfully through the difficult and the easy. What may come, I will always be there each one believing that love never dies. As I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep. And last but not least, I promise to expand my recipe book to more than just takeout menus. <laughs> is telling the person you love them and you're not going anywhere and that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage must be built on this foundation of commitment. In a marriage the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. Spring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow and all the days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we've promised on this day. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. And know that my love is present. And know that my love is present. Even when I'm not. Especially when I'm not. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Clayton, you may kiss the bride.